<laughs> My friends, today we have to take care of some unfinished business. Our first tour of Slaughter Pen, we did half of it. We kind of did west side stuff. There's a whole other section, phase two, we haven't even ridden. There's other trails and all the other phases that we've got to check out. So that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> oh. oh, it's skinny. Oh, it's skinny. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Oh. Another drop. Big drop. Oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> New creeks. <laughs> Sarah just said, I wonder who Shrain is. It's so interesting. All these trails, every trail has a story. And if you manage the trail forks for your region, put the story on. Tell us who Shrain is. Tell us how long it took to build the trail, when it was built, who built it. All that stuff is just gonna get lost to time if we don't put it down on the internet. Man, so slippery with everything. Oh. Feature. Oh God. Oh. 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 oh so. Oh. So skinny. Oh God. That was ticklish. I didn't think this one was gonna be that hard. That was freaky. Just trying to get it pointed and not go off the side. Oh. Yucky. Perfect. Whoa, that root. <laughs> wow, nice job. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Didn't look that nasty coming yeah. out. Oh. So we were just looking at the map and we see this area off to the side where there's gonna be some big old wooden drop cool stuff, but it's closed. We, when we got up to the top a minute ago, we saw that it was closed. So we just wanted to make sure Oh, let's go on the right side. Okay, excuse us. Yep. <laughs> now I know how she feels. Crazy how empty the trails are. Seriously. I thought since it's kind of sorta Easter uh -huh. holiday that there'd be people out. There's a ton of people out during last week. Guess it just depends when school is out, when people take their vacations. This trail is called Berm Creek. Yeah. It's gotta be named after Seth. Exactly.
water pen is definitely worth two days of exploring and riding. Yes, you can do everything in a day, but uh, I don't know why you wouldn't want to savor it. Double your pleasure, double your fun. I even feel like there's a lot of stuff in Slaughter Pen that's really fun to do multiple times. Definitely. Over multiple days, you know? Yeah, you come back and get better. Yeah. Okay, now for the full-on ride-around tour of the Boneyard. There was something, there was something. This looks like I'm going too slow. This is intimidating. Oh, that's cool. Drops, gaps, mandatory. Big thing. That way. Angus shoots. One shoot. Angus shoot. <laughs> 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 nice little section, eh? Yeah, your rear wheel is very, very out of true. Maybe that's why my shifting is so bad. My yeah, rear wheel is just wobbling. wobbling around like crazy. What did it I do? It yeah, it's touching the Ooh. inside. That's not good. I can't be riding this. Yeah. <laughs> no good. Okay, so it's been a week or two now <laughs> since I broke a spoke on the ride. That's what ended up happening. And now, I, I wanna keep showing you guys all this stuff at Slaughter Pen. And I'm coming in a different way. This is like on the Amazium side. And this is called Ravine Trail. And it's really cool. It's just a little bit out of the way. But once we get to the bottom, we'll be right back in the mix. <laughs> this thing requires a little finesse. <sighs> yeah, I really like this. So I'm riding solo now. Sarah and I got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine yesterday, and both of us felt pretty bad <laughs> at night. Barely got any sleep, but I'm definitely feeling good enough to go for a ride. She was not. And then you go right into the masterpiece. Now I'm gonna put gloves on if I'm gonna attempt to do this thing. Shout out to Drew at Revolution Bike Repair, getting my spoke fixed quickly. So here's the masterpiece. Just a wee little thing. But if you got them jumping skills, you could spend some time there. So there was some construction going on here the first few weeks. We were here, 
and it's funny there's always going to be <laughs> trails closed trails open new trails under construction they're always redoing stuff so if a trail's closed usually about a week later it's ready to go and all nice and new so there's a section of all american up here that i'd like to go see and i think this is how you get to it Wow, super highway. Okay. Yeah, this whole spot right here, this is where it all began. 13 years ago, I ran into Woody, the owner of Progressive Trail Design, Nathan Woodruff, and he was saying that he, he had a, like a landscape architecture company. He was mowing lawns and one of the Waltons called him up because this was private land. Built a couple trails and it just started this whole thing rolling. Hey, what's up man? Good, Good to see ya. That's how Progressive Trail Design was born. Woo. That's how so much of this whole Northwest Arkansas Oz Trails thing was born. Headwind. That's my excuse. I'm hoping to get a ride in with Woody and get that story firsthand. Okay, I'm gonna head up this way, see if the downhill trail is open. Sarah's been out here a couple times recently, and they've been working on it and it's been closed, so. Fingers crossed, I get to show you guys what it is. Feature alert. Oh yeah. Oh, man, doing this whole residency thing, staying in one place for longer, going deeper, getting to meet so many more people and get a real lay of the land. It's been awesome. The best part is <laughs> meeting you guys on the trail. I just ran into three guys from Iowa who were like, yeah, we come every year. We were just watching your videos. That's what I want. I want you guys to get inspired. Get up and go. Okay, it looks like it's open. We'll see. I hear heavy machinery at play. Your support makes it possible. I make the videos, you guys dig them, I keep going. I keep trying to make better and better and more fun videos just to keep the stoke alive. In 20 years, <laughs> I can't wait to see how far this sport will have grown. And I hope I will have played a nice little part in it. Trail is closed. They let me get all that way. Son of a gun. All right. Okay, I have not taken on any of these drops. I believe in the little one. I believe I can do that. I just uh, had seen a bunch of little kids going off of it, treating it like nothing. And then a minute ago, I was waiting here to do it. And then a little kid went off of it, treating it like it's nothing, went over the handlebars, totally wiped out. So <laughs> it's uh. It's still real, no matter how small it may be. There's some distance there. Water bottle fill up. So nice. Most dependable. <laughs> All right, at least I didn't actually need water. Baby drop, do 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 do, baby drop. Ha ha ha, cool. 
So I'm sure I missed a couple things and I'm sure by the time this video comes out, there'll be three new trails and all kinds of different stuff happening out here. My advice to you is not to try to cram everything into one day with Slaughter Pen, but also not get stuck at Slaughter Pen for three, four days and this is all you do. You gotta get out there, you gotta mix it up. This is worth a solid two days of riding for sure, but don't make it your only stop. And of course, I've got plenty of stops to go on this wonderful tour of the Land of Oz. Northwest Arkansas continues to deliver. Hope you're enjoying it. And I really hope you go ride something new because maybe I'll see you on the trail.